Several days ago, Toyota's chief scientist made an announcement that kind of went unnoticed. Ch uh, Jill Pratt, who heads Toyota's research institute as its CEO, uh, several days ago revealed Toyota's entire strategy about electric vehicles and why Toyota pursues four different types of drivetrains, such as battery electric vehicle, plug-in electric vehicle, fuel cell electric vehicle, and hybrid electric vehicles in general. But in that, I covered that several days ago so if you haven't seen that check it out please but in that report Toyota's chief scientist Jill Pratt made a very important announcement about solid state batteries that I said that and then I reflected this morning that hey that was an important announcement he basically is confirming that Toyota is working on solid state batteries well we already knew that Toyota had the patent 10 to, uh, to about 1000 patents on solid state batteries but he confirmed that Toyota is working on solid state batteries and he says that possibly Toyota solid state batteries will be producing with less carbon emission reducing environmental impact anyway he made the announced interesting revelation about where Toyota stands in that solid state batteries so here is what Toyota uh, uh, basically is saying about solid state batteries this is an important revelation in my uh, opinion friends uh, Jill Pratt in his blog couple of days ago said literally this batteries are continuously improving compared to current technology future battery technology including possibly Toyota's solid state batteries will be produced with less carbon emissions reduced environmental impact at lower cost with higher performance and with fewer recycling problems what can we that was the end of the quote what can we conclude from this? Toyota is basically saying that yes, Toyota is working on solid state batteries and those are Toyota's future battery technologies. They are improvement, improving. Toyota is working on the solid state battery improvements. They're still working on it. And when it will be produced, it will have less carbon emission, reduced environmental impact at lower cost with higher performance and with fewer recycling problems. Considering that Toyota has a huge battery team, friends, we should be expecting something really interesting and important coming from Toyota on solid state batteries. Last year, Nikkei Asia reported that Toyota will have a super battery that will that will uh, charge uh, in 10 minutes and will be coming this year and they were expecting Toyota to introduce th this was last year in December Nikkei Asia reporters were uh, expecting that Toyota will uh, 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 unveil a vehicle this year and with that solid state battery in it that we would charging super battery in 10 minutes but that didn't come this is already September and hasn't come yet we still have a couple of months to go with that but now Toyota's engineer top scientist is saying that batteries are continuously improving compared to current technology future battery technology including possibly toyota solid state batteries why is he saying possibly toyota solid state batteries in that blog because toyota is still working on it the work has not finished yet and uh, we should be expecting maybe announcement with fruition coming soon if quantum scape is doing a good job with uh, solid state batteries and making some progress toyota will probably will be in a comparable place because they have a very solid team of uh, battery scientists working on this. Now, Jill Pratt also said things like by spreading today's battery cells across a diversity of electric vehicle types now, we can maximize, we meaning Toyota, Toyota can maximize carbon reduction immediately. Then as battery technology improves, Toyota can ramp up production of more efficient, less carbon intensive batteries, probably meaning the solid state batteries included in this here is the analogy that toyota's chief scientist um, jill pratt presents he says cell phone technology allowed developing countries to leapfrog wired uh, telecommunications infrastructure it would have been a waste of time and resources for these countries to have invested heavily in wired telephone infrastructure when cell phone technology was just around the corner we believe there is a corollary with with the ev evolution of battery technologies so um, basically summarizing 
uh, Toyota scientist about Toyota's electric vehicle strategy, electric vehicles plans by Toyota. He says, can Toyota meet aggressive result-oriented quantitative limits on how much carbon may be emitted over a vehicle's entire lifetime? He says, yes, we can. He, uh, but also he asks another question. Will Toyota meet the challenge by producing millions of battery electric vehicles? He says, yes, we will. And we will also offer other drivetrains for customers in uh, circumstances where those vehicles are a better carbon reduction choice. And uh, so this is where Toyota stands in the, in the electric vehicle uh, plans and also in its, uh, its solid state efforts. So um, uh, our uh, Peter Nielsen, who leads one of Toyota reporting team members, uh, who is one of the leading th report Toyota reporting team members at TorqueNews.com, he says, he, he pr summarizes Toyota's EV approach saying we need to use all the tools in the toolbox, not one. So um, he says that... Um, I think we can all agree that a 10 mm wrench does not work on every fastener in an automobile. The idea then that one type of vehicle should fit every person's needs is also rather ludicrous, says Nielsen. Uh, if you are thinking that battery electric vehicles are the sole transportation of the future, I'm sorry, but you are mistaken. Jill in his article points out clearly why we cannot rely solely on one technology but to think about the leverage all that we have uh, going on in the industry. Well, friends, let me know, do you think electric vehicles are the sole transportation of the future? I'm not saying transportation of the future or not, but sole transportation of the future. Or do you think other drivetrains can be useful as well? Well, Toyota thinks that there are other uh, four drivetrains, a battery electric vehicle, plug-in electric vehicle, fuel cell electric vehicles, and uh, and these are also part of the future. Um, he, he says... Uh, uh, and that those need to be used. Uh, Peter Nelson summarizing Jill Pratt's uh, article about Toyota's electric vehicle plans uh, says, while battery electric vehicles are part of the solution, they are not all of that solutions. Total carbon emissions must be drastically reduced, he says, uh, but battery electric vehicles alone will not achieve that. Um, I kind of think we should push for more battery electric vehicles, but if we can get vehicles from other uh, reliable sources, energy from other reliable sources, I think they need to be used. But right now, realistically, battery electric vehicles alone, will they achieve total uh, emissions cut drastically reduced? Um, I leave that question up for you to answer. I don't know the answer, friends. Even with Toyota making massive strides in solid state battery technology, we still are dealing with finite resources on this planet. The other point that I keep coming back to is one size does not fit all. If we hammer out the electrical grid with more battery electric vehicles, we are going to see a massive problem. The grid is nowhere near capable of supporting an overnight battery electric vehicle revolution, despite the trillions of dollars being poured into the green initiative. Some people who live in areas with low carbon intensity electrical power generation would be best to use a long range battery electric vehicle. It would be the best way to help uh, them contribute to reducing carbon emissions. And we all should contribute to that, friends. Others may be able to contribute better by having minimal demands placed on the grid by using a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or fuel cell electric vehicle. Did you notice what Peter said? By contributing by minimally putting demands uh, placing minimal demands on the grid because I don't know how much our current grid in the world will be able to handle. Living in an area where their cars are used mostly for commuting, it makes sense to leverage this technology, meaning uh, uh, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or fuel cell electric vehicles. Finding out what is best for people 
in the conditions they live in then adapting to proper transportation to help facilitate the lives of those individuals and fam families will make massive difference so uh, peter says i have said something similar to what jill has before battery electric vehicles and all the other forms of transportations are supplements to our current situation the reason we are branching out in these alternative fueled vehicles is because all of our eggs have been in one basket until now together with the right modes of transportation in place and the availability to produce multiple types of vehicles will give the human race a big advantage in lowering carbon emissions over time because that's the goal right to lower carbon emission drastically as soon as possible we have to remember that the pollution we created yesterday we will have to deal with tomorrow thinking of how we can do that and leverage all of the resources of the planet responsibly is our best shot our friend dean mcmanus who contributes uh, a lot of electric vehicles to news to torque news uh, our website he says for me it is actually discouraging to hear that toyota has all of those ev patents and 1000 engineers dedicated to the task of advancing battery powered electric vehicles because it certainly is not coming out in any of the vehicles that they are selling today currently toyota doesn't even sell one single battery electric vehicle model even nissan and chevy have built and sold one battery electric vehicle model toyota's fuel cell electric vehicles hydrogen should have been plug-in electric models from the beginning to actually be competitive this is a critical problem with legacy automakers there isn't so much waste they invest billions of dollars into research which they which their controlling marketing departments and accountants clearly ignore in the name of short-term profits toyota's partnership with tesla says a lot about both companies tesla was just getting started and some of toyota's vast resources were allotted to build the second generation rav4 electric vehicle which later evolved into the model x or model y but while tesla wanted to move ahead with battery electric vehicles and they did toyota but the brakes on um, and didn't even keep building and improving the rav4 electric vehicle they went back a step and built the rav4 prime granted they did a fine job with the rav4 prime but they should have sold the rav4 battery electric vehicle at the same time but we have to wait another year or two for toyota to move forward and build their bz4x crossover um, uh, the renamed and delayed 2020 rav4 battery electric vehicle so friends what do you think about this development what do you think about what toyota said actually about uh, uh, solid state batteries saying compared to current technology future battery technology including possibly toyota's solid state batteries will be produced with less carbon emissions this is armin haryan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel and uh, for daily discussions and join our community and friends you gave me your time listening to this report i want to give you something very valuable and lasting important thing we need to change you see our world is in a turmoil right now chaos uh, the love of many people has grown cold to one another we're losing our humanity and we're becoming very selfish people but we need new heart we need new spirit and i'm looking at the word of god which says repent turn away from all your offenses then sin will not be your downfall rid yourself of all the offenses you have committed and get a new heart and a new spirit why will you die people says the lord for i take no pleasure in the death of anyone declares the sovereign lord repent and live this is from the book of ezekiel chapter 18 have a great day friends god bless you see you soon and peace be with all of you